2019 and it's time for another World of Tanks special. Uh, eight replays for you in this one and we're starting with Stiggy and he is driving the T110 E4 one of the tier 10 American tank destroyers this is the one with a semi turret don't forget the turret only rotates 90 degrees in either direction so it has a total of 180 degree arc can't shoot enemies behind it basically and we are in a tier technically tier 11 game because there are no standard tier 8s or tier 7 light tanks on arctic region I do not know why the game has decided to change the um, what do you call it? The heads up display on all of the things so we can't actually see what the tanks are why has it done that? I haven't changed anything in game Oh well, anyway, he got shot by, that's an M46 pattern to his, to his left. You can see down in the, in the bottom left, of course. I don't know why I pointed, because you can't see what I'm pointing at. He uh, managed to uh, punch the 75 in the face, quite literally. He's got support here from another E4 and an E75. There's the E75 again. Kill him. No, it goes for the cupola but missed. There are all kinds of things around here. I mean, this part of the map is very busy. So look at the amount of tanks on both teams that we have on this side. Oh, that's the roof. That's the roof. We'll have that. <laughs> Don't reverse up onto uh, high ground. It means you expose your roof quite massively. Roofs are quite easy things to pen for anything. M103? Yep. Nice damage. <laughs> Conqueror derps his shell straight into the ground. Oh dear. Rough day is it, Conqueror? E4, I think you should yeah, back up a bit. The friendly E4 is firing nothing but uh, high explosive. Lovely high roll on that T47 Heavy there. Definitely tell it's not spill playing. You never get high rolls. Oh, another cheeky high roll on that T fifty seven heavy. Oh, dirty. Actually, there are two T fifty seven heavies, but what's this coming down here? Hello, email. Two is that? Yeah, it is. Good stuff. Email two is down in almost instantly, really. Now then, T for seven heavy. I think you're about done. Yes, there we have it. But there's still M46 pattern and the Conqueror, I believe, around there. Yep. E4 takes out the Conqueror. Stiggy has a shot in the M46 Patton's rear. I think he took his tracks off and set them on fire. <laughs> that's a bit... That's a bit odd. Anyway, he's built up a lot of damage. There's a Type 5 Heavy and Object 140 above here. And the Type 5 Heavy still has all of his health. Type 5 Heavy. Oh, he has noticed that Stiggy's here. Got a low roll on Type 5 Heavy, but it doesn't really matter. Gonna take many hits to kill that Type 5 Heavy. It's got 2,900 health to start off with. Cheek. Yep, managed to go through. With a high roll as well. The game displayed a yellow. Um, reticle thing. How much pen does this thing have? Standard 
It's 295 millimeters of penetration. Wait, what? No, it's not. What is? Oh yeah, of course, it's 375 with APCR. And the Type 5 Heavy has 270 millimeters of frontal armor everywhere. After the buff. Just a T-35A left. He's over there somewhere. There he is. Can Stiggy get a sniping shot on him? I think he might be able to. Yep. Killed him on 531 health, not 1,100. Okay, that was a brilliant game. So, a stanker. Bruiser, fire perfect, and high caliber. Seems like he should deserve more medals from that, really, because he did 8,095 damage. That's enough to do uh, TD 15 for the Object 260. Not with honors, though, because you need five kills, and you only got three kills only. Three kills is still impressive. 1,299 base experience. And that other E4 got a lot of base experience as well, I can tell you that, even if it wasn't that much damage. 56,213 credits profit with premium kept, and 1,490 damage blocked by armor. Yeah, because the armor is very, very well sloped on the front of the E4. Well, like all the T110 tanks, E3, E4, and E5. Yeah. Well, that was a uh, that was a very intense first battle, and uh, it's time to move on there. And see uh, who else has been playing recently. All right then. This is Alex actually, and he's driving the Su-12244, Tier 7 premium Soviet tank destroyer. On Malinovka, in counter battle. Let's see what he can do. It's a Tier 7 battle. Not many tier 7s on each team either. Oh, T25 2 spotted. Aiming in. Oh, cheeky high roll. It's fallen back behind the big building, whatever that building is. There is an E25 slithering about somewhere. He's just killed an allied KV-1 who is now moaning in chat. There he is, look. Oh, T-34. Oh, lovely. He almost one shot to kill those things with this. Can't see things on hill. He's got binos and Kamenet. Ideal thing for this vehicle, really. Or any tank destroyer. I don't know what that is. It's a VK 3001H, but it's hiding behind a rock. Oh, Yag Panther has been spotted moving across. Can't see him. No one on the team has gone down to the uh, to the field. It's understandable. The campy nature is not favoured by many, but it can still uh, promote a uh, a sudden breakthrough by the enemy. Speaking of which, I did not expect a bird to be the one to make that push. Unfortunately, Alex missed and he's got spotted. Uh, Bert has received some damage from other, other members of the team. Ah, oh, there we go. Kills him. But he's got to move a bit because there are there's other artillery in play. There we have it. That was probably the M44. Oh, there's a KV-1 who is not fully upgraded at all. Managed to snipe the shot in. And he's now dead.
Hmm. So that is something interesting. Alex has got uh, his second. His two key is actually high explosive. That's interesting. Didn't give enough lead to that uh, ELC there. It's Yap Panther, however, is advancing across the open. Shot wasn't quite fully aimed and went underneath the Yak Panther. Yeah, it's now sitting in the cap, but it's not urgent because it's encounter. There's a heavy tank over there. What is it? M6? Yeah. Put a shot into his side. Didn't get spotted by him. Can he get the kill? Yes, he can. The kill. I don't know what they say. Can't speak Russian at all. Right, there is that Yak Panther. If other members of the team can shoot him, he'll get spotting damage as well. There's a shot him himself, backs off, does get hit, but not for very much damage. And gets all the rest in assistance damage. Good job, team. Oh, there's that ELC again, he's going for the artillery. Actually, he's not, because he's not spotted the artillery. Don't drive in a straight line, ELC. Or at least don't don't make that straight line on the same, you know, parallel to Alex's gun because it makes it so easy to hit. Something over there. Oh, it was a Yapanzer four, <laughs> and it isn't anymore. That was a brilliant shot. That's a bit of RNG on the side there. <laughs> Wouldn't expect this gun to cooperate that well. At, uh, well, beyond maximum spotting range. Oh, the E25 has been spotted. But many things want revenge on that thing. Didn't fully aim the shot. The shell just missed it. I'm just going to shoot him again anyway. And he's dead. Hmm. Now then, just a stug three left. And the other two artillery. Yeah. I think it's time that he uh, makes his move. Did that T29 just... Yes, it did. Stug 3 must be over here somewhere. Hiding. Well. Let's see where that Stug 3 is. Show yourself. He's not been spotted yet. He says. That way. Hmm. Has he gone back to the bushes in the in the middle of the field? Yes, just what I thought. He can watch, I'll kill him. And he did. Artillery has been found by the G1R at the back of the map there. And he's down. And the GW Panther is back there. Very much in the low ground. Never going to get a shot off from this, from this place. And the G1R kills him. Good stuff.
Ace tanker, bruiser, fighter, fire for effect, and high calibre. 3,399 damage done, 5 kills, 1,231 base experience. 44,340 credits profit with standard again. Premium vehicle, don't forget. A um, little bit of damage by armor, and some assistance damage as well. 675. Nice one. Now then, who is next? I honestly can't remember. I think it might be sexy. Let's find out. No, not sexy. This is Dead Man. And he's driving the Yag Tiger 8.8. In an encounter battle on Ensk, it's a tier 8 battle. Alright. Oh, what's that in the distance? Something. T43 looks like, it is. Thing. There's a heavy tank moving. It's an IS. Took the shot, but didn't see the IS move across. Interesting move. Going down the railway. Hello, T43. It would appear that you can't really get past. <laughs> and uh, this thing has quite a good rate of fire, so. Oh. What? Scorpion G killed him instead. Just push the wreck out of the way. Oh, kill that OI. Good stuff. Super Pershing, amongst other things, of course. Amongst many other things. Hello, Super Pershing. Kills the Super Pershing. T32, side of the turret, yep. Is that? That's an E25. Yeah, go for the T32. I think a much more easily pen. I act I rope on eight from the front. You see this rate of fire can just absolutely rip this guy apart. Even through the front of the turret. Didn't pen that one. Go for the E25, but he's not actually in a position to be shot at. T32. Please, get good. Oh. E25 is still up there. Artillery could also be up here somewhere. There is the artillery. A shot into the E25. Kills the E25. Artillery misses. Tries to move away, but gets a shot from Dead Man and gets killed by the Chiri. That was good. Very fast paced battle. So, Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Duelist, Fighter, Fire Effect, Shellproof, and High Caliber. 3,445 damage done, 4 kills, 1,283 base experience, 94,643 credits profit with premium account, 1,790 damage blocked by armour and a pinch of assistance. That experience, <laughs> nearly 7 
sounds and experience as well. I think uh, Deban was very happy with the outcome of that battle. I should certainly think so if that happened to me. And uh, so, I think <laughs> the next battle is from Sexy. But clearly, don't take my word for it. Let's find out. It is sexy now. I got it right this time. Yeah. Not very impressive. Um, anyway, he's driving the Speerpanzer RU251, tier 8, soon to be tier 9, German light tank. On, swamp, and it's a tier 9 battle. He's alerted the team where he's going to be spotting. He's loaded the high explosive, which, by the way, on this vehicle has very good penetration. It's of 102. He's going to sit in this bush. MT-25. Took a shot at him. Penned him as well. Okay, nothing else to be spotted. Oh. There's one thing purging there. He did get spotting damage on that. Another spare panzer over there. Hide behind these rocks. Gets a shot into him that time. Oh, hit an ally. What is that over there? Oh, it's a Stritzvagen 1030. Hit the purging. Hit him again, but didn't pen that one. Purging is side scraping behind that rock. A guess shot in that direction. Probably didn't hit the spare panzer. Didn't get spotted by the Pershing. Looks like it took the track off or something. Gets the kill. There's the spare panzer. Gets the kill on that as well. I really don't know what's wrong with the the interface here. I've not changed anything in the game, and these replays are definitely not from previous patches. Very strange. The only unusual thing I've done very recently is try to log into Sandbox. It wouldn't let me. Shot into the back of the T-43 there. Will he get another? I think he will. Yes, he will. The sandbox didn't even let me on. Said my uh, email or password were incorrect, and they weren't. Definitely not. Anyway, a couple of tank destroyers around the corner there. Oh, artillery, that's what he was looking for. M12. There we have it. He's on the run. I can't get the kill though. What have we got around here? Is that an ISU? That is an ISU. Straight through. Missed that shot. Well, that looks like it's going to be the M53, M55. What is that? That's a Stritzwagen. It's a shot through. He cannot automatically penetrate that 
stretch valve ends up a plate. Because there's never big enough. Oh wow. You got a low roll, but it's still a little damage. It's an ISU. There's the Stritzwagen. There's a shot through there. And Stritzwagen is down. The ISU pops up again. I think he fired. The sexy doesn't want to get hit by artillery. Snuck down into a bit of lower ground. And he's going hunting for the M53, I think. Oh, well, there he is. Kills him. And there's the ISU. He is coming this way. Should be able to pop up behind the ISU. And there he is. Killed him, but he received a shot from the AMX 1390 first. Now then, load the heat for uh, base defence. There's an object 704 and an IS-3. Yeah, one of them is in the cap, and the other one, I imagine, is probably making their way to the cap. Note 704 stayed outside the cap. IS-3 is the one capping. Thirteen ninety spotted the IS-3 in the cap. Side of the turret. There we go. Reset the cap. Again, there we go. Can't take a hit from the IS-3. Here we go. Yes, got him. And the 704 died. That's the end of that game. And so. Ace tanker, spotter, bruiser, duelist, fighter, fighter effect, and defender. 3,312 damage done, 5 kills, 1,355 base experience, 21,734 credits profit with premium account, and 1,532 assistance damage. Understandably, no damage blocked by armor, because things can automatically penetrate the Hobby 251. Good stuff. Well, that's half of the replays done now. And I think another replay from Stiggy is inbound. Alright then. Here's Stiggy again, and he's driving the Rheinmetall Scorpion G. Tier 8 premium German tank destroyer. One of quite a few, actually. Of course, there's the Tiger 8.8 that we saw Dead Man drive earlier. There's also the Kanonyad Panzer. Which you don't see much of. And there are three regular tier 8 German uh, tank destroyers in the tech tree, one of which is on the enemy team, the Rheinmetall Borsig Waffenträger, along with, of course, the Ferdinand and the Air Panzer II. A lot of German tank destroyers. This, of course, is built on the Panther chassis. Could see that. Ron Erlenberg, and it's a tier 10 battle. That's a T25 pilot. Shot went through. I 
what is that? It's MX30. Missed. There's the pilot again. Missed that shot, unfortunately. Here's the MX30. Pilot is looking this way, but they haven't seen Sticky. But Sticky can't really retreat anywhere. There's nowhere safe to go. Well, shot into the side of the E75 there as he backed off from other members of Sticky's team. Another shot into the side of the E75. E75 is now dead. There's a medium tank. There's a T54 Mod 1 there. He's going to go for the. Oh, he went for the MX30, but Blind killed the pilot instead. That's. Okay. Oh, enemy Scorpion. Couldn't see him. Went for the T54 Mod 1 instead. Killed him. That's a 25 t Killed him. Oh, weird camera there. Now then, is that AMX 30 on low enough health to kill him? Yes, he was. Nice three side. Yep, kills him as well. This is a very weird battle. I think Siggy mentioned that. Battle results screen. Lerva. Nope, too late to kill him. That was that was a brilliant comeback by the team there. Well played. Enemy team just kind of melted and vanished. I think Stiggy's team received some reinforcements, which were greatly required. And put to good use. Enemy artillery is drowned. Predictable. There he is, look. Oh dear. There's the other one, the Batchat 15558. Gets the kill on him as well. Running out of AP shells now. Three enemies left, all tier eight. There's the Borsig. Kills him as well. There's a TV PVTU. Nope, too late. Got killed by someone else. Ramatel Scorpion there. Oh, 704 killed him. Couldn't get the ready waters. But still, what a, what a peculiar game in a way. Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Fire Effect, High Caliber, Top Gun. Yes, a one strange game there. Definitely was. 4,697, no, 4,692 damage done. I was looking at a 7 here for 7 kills. 1,437 base experience. 98,217 credits profit with premium account. 502 assistance damage. That was a brilliant times five as well. Ten, just shy of eleven thousand experience from that game. I'd definitely be happy with that, and I'm pretty sure Stiggy was happy with that as well. Although, when that situation developed, I really didn't think that uh, the team was going to get out of it, but they did. Anything can happen after all. So, 
I believe we're back to sexy now for the third to last replay. All right then. Sexy is now driving the Bachatillon 25T, French tier 10, medium tank. The original one, of course, there's now the MX-30B as well. A tier 10 battle on Prokhorovka. And he started from the correct side in order to go to the invisible spotting bush. And that is absolutely what he's trying to do, I think. This thing is basically as fast as a light tank. It has a very good power to weight, so it can get to its uh, top speed and stay there quite easily. He may have been spotted, however, by that leopard prototype, and he has. He's forced to abandon it. At least for now. He's going to go back for a second try. Maybe not. Settle the first bush, perhaps. I'm going to shoot this leopard prototype through multiple bushes, I think. Oh, well, we still got spotted anyway. Alright then. Reload and get the hell out of there. Spotted a T25 pilot down the end. Back to the same bush again. Oh, there's the there's another pilot. Decides not to shoot him. There a prototype. No, fall back. T95 has moved up. Right, he's going to shoot this pilot through the bushes. There's one shell. There's a second. Takes the third one blind. There's the leopard prototype. He puts a shell under him. And. Reload, perhaps? Actually, if we can shoot that Stutzfagen. And get into this bush. Didn't get spotted doing it this time. Now the T-95 is moving across. Doesn't have the gun elevation to hit things over there. He's still got this one shell remaining. going for a reload. A risky move there, but I think it's going to pay off because he spotted a whole bunch of targets that are getting shot at now. That was a ballsy move, but it paid off getting all kinds of assistance damage, he completely managed to allow his allies completely managed to allow his allies to kill the VK bro, yes he allowed his allies to completely destroy the VK uh, B there enemy batcher one shell into his face ignores the type 5 goes for the side of the I-7 instead, there's one oh, the second one bounced third one goes in one shell left Oh, there's an ice three. We're going to put him into him. And now we're going to reload. And he's getting all kinds of spotting damage on that ice three as well. We've got shot by the pilot. Ice three down. Seems like the enemies have retreated further. Oh, what's that? Can't even see on the map. There are the mediums. Back to 25T and pilot. He's going to go for the pilot. Puts one shell into him and he gets killed by I7. 
Uh, popping the ridge and uh, assassinating Bachek would be a bad idea, so instead he uh, shoots this, uh, this TDP VTU. Misses the second shot though. He was forward to spot the bat chat proxi with proximity to spotting. TDP. Come on. Doesn't kill the TDP. Wonder why that is. I think he's going for, for damage, really. Rather than kills. Which is completely understandable. That's how you get credits. It's just a 5100 left now. Sexy is still reloading, so doesn't want to get shot out yet. Here we go. One. And two. He's dead. 5100 exposed himself to so many of Sexy's allies as well. That was quite a blitz. The team only lost three tanks. So, Ace Tanker, Spotter, Bruiser, Fire for Effect, Confederate, and Patrol Duty. 5130 damage done. One kill, 1331. Base experience 71,582 credits profit with the premium account, 6,430 assistance damage. Hmm. This can be kind of the light tank, I think, as uh, was proved there. And he had permanently maximum spotting distance as well. Um, I imagine, you know, vents and optics. Uh, will be uh, on the sexiest bat chat there. Two replays left. Um, can't remember who's next. Let's find out. The back to dead man now. And he's driving the T28 prototype. One of the tier 8 American tank destroyers. The one at least the T124 that we saw earlier. Is a platoon with me driving the other way in the uh, GW Tiger P. We're in a tier 9 battle on Paris. This vehicle is very good now. It received a speed buff of 10 kilometers per hour, which is quite a lot, really. It took a guess shot there, but it hit the building at the back, it didn't hit any vehicle. Of course, you're still not very fast going at 28 kilometers per hour, but you can definitely get into battle a lot easier now. Pershing in the middle of the map. A massive low roll on him. That's all right. Ooh, managed to bounce that one somehow. that shot unfortunately. Leopard prototype, he's in the middle of the map. Shot through the uh, whatever that was and hit him. Missed that one. Oh he didn't. He just didn't kill him. There we have it. There's T-55A over there. Oh, that was a shot from me. Big old hit. T-55A. Find you. That T-55A has just killed me. Sadly, that shell was too slow to avenge me. 
Oh, nuts. Yep, lovely. I don't want to challenge the reload of this Panzer and the Mutz thing. Panzer Mutz thing. Well, advancing now through the centre of the map. And he's going to hopefully get some shots. Into all kinds of stuff over here. I assume we've bitten the dust already. Buffer Tiger Panzer IV, yep, and set him on fire. Beautiful damage done there. He's going to shoot him again. There we have it. Didn't get another fire. Would have been really funny if he did. Dicker Max there. Knees down. Oh, there's artillery. M40, M43. Got him as well. Oh, it's a Speerpanzer A251 over there. He's going for this Pershing. Got him. Ayu doesn't want to get shot at. There's the waffle. He's got him. Pilot is down. It's just the Speerpanzer left now. Oh my god. Liberty lost a lot of his health just falling there. The Speerpanzer's not coming out from behind that uh, jungle over there. And email 2 kills it. Hmm. Nice work. Ace tanker. Bruiser. Fighter. Fire for effect. Shell proof steel wall and high caliber. 4,440 damage done. 5 kills. 1,314 base experience. 30,365 credits profit with premium account. 2,060 damage blocked by armor. 259 assistance damage. And so you see, this can absolutely get the work get the work done, get the job done, whatever you want to say really, uh, since the buff. Um, even Stiggy likes the vehicle now. And he's not one for liking slow vehicles, I can tell you that. Uh, well, there's one replay left, and uh, it's time for me. There's no spill in this special. Uh, not because I don't have any replays from him, far from that. I have more replays from him than anyone else. But I have five, so I'm going to wait until I get another one from him and do a spill special. Similar to the kitten super special that I did a while back. Anyway, uh, we're, we're kind of seeing spill because uh, he's platooned with me in this battle. We're both driving the KV-13 with the derp gun, was his idea. Uh, it's actually kind of fun. <laughs> uh, the derp guns are always fun, aren't they, really? Um, but it's the same derp gun you find on the KV-1. So it's not really designed for the KV-13. And uh, I want to get up... up here. T-3485M wasn't making it easy for me. Well, it seems like I made it up. Not much team on this side of the map, but we'll deal with that problem if it turns into a big problem. Tried to spot anything that uh, was trying to sneak through there, but it wasn't. Oh, behind. There's a Type 58 there. Come on, gun depression, gun depression, gun depression. Nope, missed. Soviet's not known for good, good gun depression, and uh, the KV-13 in particular doesn't have does not have uh, gun depression really. And that's a Tiger P, by the way. It 
So I'm going to load the uh, high explosive any tank for him. Which has 140 millimeters of penetration, I think. Oh, can see the side of the Tiger P. Yep, got him. Reload the high explosive again. Something tried to shoot me there. That was uh, a bishop. We'll see more of that later on. Fire in that bush. Might be something in there, who knows? It's quite a. Uh... Well, it's probably a bush to be camping in, to be honest. Now, then, let's see if we can uh, find some tank destroyers and artillery. Oh! That's an IKV 65. T6 IKEA thing, really. Some lead, yep. Oh, and set him on fire. And killed him. And that's a Z25 too. I don't want to, to face that alone. Because that has a lot of health. And I've got a derp gun. Now then. Oh, Bishop. On your side, Bishop. Hello. Got hit by the other bishop immediately. Now then. Oh, there's the other bishop. Can I get a shot here? No, I can't. Come on. Oh, he's fired. Let's kill this guy. There we go. Now here comes the T25 slash 2. And he really, really doesn't know my reload, does he? Just some damage to him. That is where he could have stayed out and done another shell of damage, but he decided not to. Besides, he's going to show his side, which is very lovely for my high explosive. And uh, spill tells me that the Stahrwaffentrache, the only remaining enemy vehicle, is in this direction somewhere. So let's go and find him. Amazingly fun to play this with the derp gun. Who'd have thought? Aha! Found him. Let's get a good shot on this guy. Yep, I did. He died super quickly. So. Ace tanker, bruiser, arsonist, duelist, fighter, five refractor, brothers in arms, and high calibre. 2,198 damage done, five kills, 1,121 base experience. Spill who has changed his World of Tanks username, by the way. But I'm going to continue calling him Spill, because that's what you know him as. 1,027 damage done, 3 kills, 749 base experience. 38,514 credits profit with premium account, and 317 assistance damage. And that is it for this 8 replay special, viewers. I uh, certainly enjoyed playing that last game. I enjoyed watching it back, and I enjoyed watching all of the other replays sent in by Dead Man, Stiggy, and Sexy. Oh, and Alex, of course, as well. So, thank you to all of those. And uh, as always, viewers, good luck on that battlefield, or with whatever games you're playing. And I will see you next time.